And that is good as it gets. What a shot for Nisham for six. Hello everyone and welcome back to our New Zealand Road to Cricket Glory career mode guys in Cricket Captain 2020. Where today we are back with episode number 14 of the series guys. Where today we've actually got a one, we've actually got a T20 international series of three against the West Indies to round out the West Indies tour guys. This is obviously very important because it builds towards the T20 World Cup coming up. We have uh, two test matches and a friendly coming up against Bangladesh as part of the World Test Championship. Before we have three T20 internationals against Bangladesh, three against West Indies before the World Cup in Australia. It obviously changed in real life, but, you know, um, we move on. It, it hasn't changed in this game, so at this stage, we are going to play the World Cup T20, uh, or, or 2020, in 2020. It's a little confusing. Anyway, we're going to play the uh, T20 World Cup in Australia from October to November in 2020 in this game, which is obviously big. We want to walk away winners of that, and I've never really been a part of a World Cup uh, before so this should be super interesting and then after that we've got test matches and some more stuff to round out the summer so wow we've got a huge summer huge look at that series 14 we go all the way to ridiculous ridiculous summer guys and to think we are just on the fourth series of 14 in this summer is crazy to or this year I guess is crazy to think about anyways Looking at the world ratings before the series, guys, we are 6th on the world ratings. The West Indies are 7th. So we are very much uh, looking to perhaps get some points. Yes, we drew the series 1-1 in 2014. So if we win the series, we gain a point. If we lose it, we lose a point. So it's all to play for, really, in this three-match series. And looking at the top... Uh, T20 batters in the world right now. Williamson is in the top. There's actually quite a few players now playing around the world, guys. As you can see, England and Australia and Ireland, India, Sri Lanka are now all on there. So it is really getting competitive, which is surprising, I guess, to see that Kane Williamson is still on his podium at number three right now. In the world, Mitch Satner is still the best T20 international bowler. I did actually look before starting, guys. It looked like Marco Deer had overtaken Satna, but must have dropped below him again. Jimmy Neesham's also snuck into the top 10 as well, which is great to see. But I'm sure others like Lockie Ferguson, Kyle Jamieson will be wanting to get up there as well. I saw Dale Stain's name there. If he makes the T20 World Cup, that could be interesting. But anyways, guys, we're actually going with a different sort of squad this time. As you can see, we've actually gone with um, Corey Anderson joining up. With the squad, Jimmy Neesham, Tom Bruce, I'm not sure he's been a part of the squad this year yet, so he's in. Alright guys, here we are. We are here for the coin toss. Kane Williamson is ready to call. By the looks of it, guys, this is some lineup that West Indies have put out. Sunil Narine is an opening batsman, or, you know, opening sort of bowler, I guess, who can bat a bit up top and smack it around. He's batting at number 11. Cornwall's making his T20 international debut. Chris Gale's batting at number six. What is going on? West Indies are definitely... They've only got one bowl of four rounders, five rounders. They're a dangerous side, that is for sure, guys, in this format. We are not going to take them lightly whatsoever. As Kane calls heads, and as traditional on this channel, he loses the toss, and we will be bowling first on what looks to be a pretty good wicket again. All right, here we go. We'll see how we go, though, West Indies. To begin things off. Jameson to Hope. First ball of the series. And it's pulled away for four. And he's gone. F Levin Lewis is gone. Phillips takes the catch. Jameson strikes in the first over. Which is huge, huge stuff. And Shimron Hitmeyer to the crease now. Oh my goodness me. Edges it straight. And he's going to pick up four runs to begin. Jameson for his second here. That is a six, though, to Shy Hope. And a four now. He's on fire straight away and nearly gets cleaned up. Oh, my gosh. That's six, too. Shy Hope, 25 off 12. Definitely uh, the player right now to uh, get out. That's for sure. All right. Ferguson 
And he bowls very well. Jameson is going to come off. Nishib to bowl one. That is four, though. That's not great. Nishim to hope. Oh, he's hit it straight to short cover. This should be out and is gone. Hitmeyer's run out. 16 off nine. We don't mind that, boys. A big wicket. Hitmeyer could really get going. It's a shame that Shy Hope couldn't get out, but again, that's okay. We can definitely live with that. We're going to go to Ajaz Patel for one in the power plate, which is not the best, but uh, we've got two spinners today. And that's a six. He concedes 10 in the other, but that's the end of the power plate, which is the good news for New Zealand. Satna bowls up a spell straight away, one off the other. He's been on absolute fire in this career mode, guys. I really cannot say anything else other than that. Ajaz Patel is going to bowl in tandem to Kieran Pollard. Okay, that's for four runs. Satna to Pollard. This is a big battle. It's been a big battle in the career mode. Oh. Edged for one in the gap. Oh, that's straight, and that's four. Thought he was a chance, Satna, but no. Oh, again, four in the gap. Hope on absolute fire here, guys. 53 off 32. He brings up a... T20 National 50, his third. And this is not quite his top score yet, but it's nearing to be. Nisham now. And that is his top score. That goes for four. Oh, I thought he nicked it. That's six, though. Wow, we. Oh, no. Nisham, what are you doing, son? Oh no, he's bowling full tosses and it's never good when you see Jimmy Nishin bowl full tosses. Have I got the field wrong? I think I might have got the field wrong, guys. Very much so, I think so. Gone! Phillips strikes. No, Phillips does not strike. He is the keeper, he cannot strike. But it is Satna who strikes. He gives the full toss. I think it's a full toss again, guys. Here we go. Lob it up. Oh dear me. Straight through. All on the full. Thank you very much. We've actually got a T20. Yeah, we do have a T20 uh, field here, guys. I'm just going to chuck that on. And that's a big blow. Hope gone for 69. Wendy's a 96 for 3. That is not out. Nisham is getting carted. So this could be very bad. But I think... Now that we've got two new batters, yeah, we bowled him, and he bowled okay. Not the best, but okay. 106 for three, the Windies. Tosses it up again, Satna, but it's gone for four. Nishim for his last. Can he just close it out? No, it's four. No, it's four. Yes, he gets Pollard. Nishim gets Pollard with the Yorker, and it's Chris Gale now. No let up in this windy side. And that's four to Gale. Kind of messed this up, I think, because it means we're going to have to bowl our death bowlers earlier, but we're just going to have to do it. Just going to have to deal with it. Ajaz Patel bowling to Chris Gale. Oh, yep. Yeah. That is massive. Wow. I think that's out of the ground. I think Chris Gale has actually smashed that out of the ground. Unbelievable hitting. Let's look at this again, guys. Ajaz Patel thinks he can just walk in, bowl outside off, but look at that. That's gone. That is absolutely pummeled. Thank you very much for coming. That is a four to Jameson. Edged and gone, though. And Jameson strikes here. 140 for five. Windies, but hold is gone for a golden duck. He's on a hat trick. In the next over, though. And again, it's gone, and it's six more. Age has to Gale. It's not working out. He's trying to bowl wide, but Gale has got him all under control. 150 up for the Windies. Cornwall on to boot. Catch it. Oh, he's edged in the gap, and he gets off the mark. Jameson is on a hat trick here, and he cannot get it. And Gale hits that for four. 157. Oh, no. Jameson. 
Lost is... Oh no, we've done the maths completely wrong. <laughs> this is not good at all. Oh, it's all going poor, guys. I think we're going to need one spinner in the squad. I think two is uh, too many. I cannot... Cannot deal with him. I can't get the order right. Now Chapman's bowling in the part like at the death. Oh gosh. Oh, he's actually done okay there. Oh, wow, Chapman. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This is not looking good, guys. We're gonna be chasing the big total, and it's really simply all my fault. It's not looking good at all. At the, there's a death thing. Oh, for James. Oh, for Ferguson, who should should have bowled earlier. Now that I've obviously thought about it. And there you go. Instantly get to wicket at the death. <laughs> and he gets Chris Gale gone for 44 of 23. Again, now we're looking at it going. We probably should have had him on way earlier than that. Oh, and he's got a third too. Just Ferguson, just stop it. He got three for 18. Now it's very cloudy. Are you kidding me? Game is biased. And Rutherford goes for two off three. Looks like the incorrect decision to have him in the lineup. It's a good shot from Williamson. Over Glenn Phillips. Williamson cuts that for six, and that's the only run to the over, though. We need 9.2 and over, which is a lot in this game. That could be out, but there's no one there, and it's going to be a four. Gee, that was a beauty. From Kimo Paul. Oh, that's well timed from Guptill. That's four. To be fair to us... Oh, Guptill is gone, though. I was going to say something. Maybe I shouldn't say it, though. That's gone. That is gone. 24 for two. And Williamson edges to the one slip. That is there. New Zealand, 24 for three. Not looking good at all. Oh, that's a shot from Chapman. Opportunity for anyone here who wants to make this T20 World Cup lineup. If you want to make it, probably uh, turn up now. Is uh, what I'm going to say. But Chapman goes. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. 46 for 4, New Zealand. That is a good shot from Taylor. That's 50 up for New Zealand. At last. That should be out. That should be Cornwall's first wicket. Nope, it's a 6. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, shot by Ross Taylor. It's an edge. That was an edge for six over cover. Oh, that is a shot. 9.6 needed per over, so... It's just full aggression or nothing, really, at this point. Shot by Taylor. That's four. 70 for four, New Zealand. Swept away for four more. Taylor onto 30. 77 for four. Four more. Swept for four more from Taylor. Loves a sweep. Oh, he loves it. That's six more. That's out the ground. That's in the gap of the, the stands, too. Goes down the ground. Beats mid on for four more. Ross Taylor moving along very quickly now. 8.8 .8 needed per over. And Phillips has completely misread that. And is gone. We're going to pull Nisham just back a little bit. Still need to keep going. Though. Oh, my. That's a shot. First ball. I would be very happy if I hit that myself. Now we're single. Taylor, four runs. What a shot. Oh, misses it though. 8.6 needed per over. We can still do it here. Oh, it's an edge. It's an edge by Nisham. Taylor on 49. And that brings up 50. For Taylor. Well played. But he's gone. He edges off after getting 50. Oh dear. Ross Taylor. We needed you. His 8th T20 International 50, but he's gone. 9.1 needed per over now. 75 runs. Oh gee, 9 points. Okay, that was just a single ball. Never mind. Don't worry too much about it. Sin on the Rhine. Gee, this West Indies side is very good. 106 for 6. I mean, they're definitely one of the favourites to win this World Cup, whether people want to say it or not. Surely. They are the defending champions after all. 9.8 per over needed. 
Someone's going to have to go. It's probably going to have to be Nisha. And that is good as it gets. What a shot for Nisham for six. And now hits it for four. Perfect. 123 for six. Satna drives. This is four more too. 18 from eight from Nisham. 127 for six. We swing and a miss. Nisham up against soon on the ride, but it's one off a three off the over. We need 50 runs. And five overs, so 50 off 30 balls. That's a good shot. That is four for Satna. Six from Satna. 37 from 24. I'm not going to say we're back in it yet. Still a big target to get. Oh, that's a shot, though. To start the over, 33 needed from 23. That's a six. That is a six. That gets New Zealand right back in it now. I don't know how, but we have managed to get ourselves back in this game. But Satna plays all around it. It's a new all-time record partnership for New Zealand versus West Indies for the seventh wicket, but he's gone. He has gone the next delivery. Lockie Ferguson to the crease. I've actually got Lockie in above Jameson, which is poor because Jameson probably can bat a bit. Anyway, Lockie has gone for a golden duck anyway. And I've seen it, Jason! What am I doing? <laughs> no! This is not working. I somehow sent a Jazz Patalin. Nisham hits a four. But gets it off strike. It's straight. It's an edge. The fielder won't get there. It's four. A Jazz Patel, 16 to win. Oh, he nearly gets bowled. 14 from 12. It is ball by ball stuff here. We're not going to play the over anymore. It's ball by ball. Single. Are you kidding me? A single back. Okay. 12 from 9. Nisham. But gets bold. It's down to Jameson. 12 off 8. 11 off 7. 11 off 6. Jameson has to do it here. And cannot. New Zealand lose by 10 runs. We pulled off a stunning comeback there, guys. But in the end... It's too much to handle. And Jameson is LBW one off two. I mean, that was shocking stuff, really, for me. Bowling Chapman at the death and then having Jameson number 11. It's just all over the shop. That was a really poor, poor game from us, really. Ajaz Patel did not bowl well at all as well. So I think there's a lot to think about moving into the next game. As West Indies win. Shy Hope's the man of the match for 69 off 39. Well played to him as... Best T20 international knock. Chris Gale. Surprise, he got 44 off 23. And he was very, very good again. Ross Taylor got 50. Nisham, 40 off 23. And Satna, 23 off 17. An important partnership there, but they could not get us home. In the end, we fall short by just 10 runs. As West Indies take a 1-0 lead in the series, guys. That is going to be it for today's episode, guys. So if you did enjoy them, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to also like the video, guys. And follow us on social media, guys. Especially on Twitter, where we tweet out quite a lot, guys. And the last thing for you all, please make sure you join our Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all our videos go live, guys. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode, guys. Goodbye for now.